Hello everyone. Hope you are all in the best of spirits, health and disposition. I am Sumaya Alansari. Welcome to a new video of Quest of Truth. Today, we are going to talk about the nature and composition of viruses. Viruses are obligate intracellular parasites containing only one kind of nucleic acid as genome and a protein coat designed to protect the genome. Obligate intracellular parasites are those that cannot live outside a living cell. So for cultivation of viruses, we cannot rely on the inanimate culture media that we use for the bacteria. Because in such a media, viruses would behave just like any other non-living particles. Viruses can be grown in animals by animal inoculation technique or in embryonated eggs or by tissue or cell culture. Functional nucleic acids are of two types, DNA and RNA. Living organisms harbor both DNA as well as RNA, where DNA is usually the genetic material of the organism and RNA plays instrumental role in protein synthesis. In viruses, the genetic material is either DNA or RNA, but never both. Viruses reproduce. They do not replicate. So they are often described as the organisms at the edge of life. Viruses occupy the twilight zone between the living and the non-living organisms. The size and shape of viruses. You know, viruses are very small organisms and the size of viruses ranges from 20 to 400 nanometers in diameter. You know, one thousandth part of millimeter is a micron and one thousandth part of a micron is a nanometer. So the size of viruses ranges from 20 to 400 nanometers, wherein the largest known virus is smallpox virus, which is just as large as the smallest bacteria or mycoplasma and the smallest virus is parvovirus which is only about 20 nanometers and due to this very small size viruses can easily pass through bacterial filters and also they are so small that they cannot be seen by light microscopy an electron microscope is required to see a virus so it is called as ultra microscopic Okay, the overall shapes of uh, viruses uh, varies in different groups. They can be roughly spherical to rectangular, bullet-shaped, rod-shaped or pleomorphic like mycoplasma. An illustrative example of size and morphology of viruses in relation to a bacterium. Viral sizes can be measured by three methods. Ultracentrifugation, graded membrane filters, electron microscopy. In earlier days, viral sizes were estimated by using membrane filters with different pore sizes. Another method is by ultracentrifugation, in which the virus particles uh, settle at the bottom of tubules at the rate proportionate to their sizes. That means the heavier the particles or the larger the size of the part virus particle, the uh, sooner it will, it will settle at the bottom and the lighter it will be, the more time it would take to settle down. Another method is by electron microscopy in which the size and shape of viruses can be directly made out in purified preparations of virions. The basic infectious particle of a virus is known as the virion and the virion or viral particle must consist of nucleic acid, capsid, envelope and glycoprotein spikes. The structure of a simple virus consists of a nucleic acid which is either DNA or RNA, single-stranded or double-stranded, enclosed in a protein shell called as capsid which is composed of varying numbers of protein subunits known as capsomeres. The combination of genome or nucleic acid with capsid is called as nucleocapsid. The capsid is arranged symmetrically around the nucleic acid core. Based on the symmetry or geometric configuration of capsid, virus architecture can be grouped into three categories, helical, icosahedral and complex. The helical symmetry is where the capsomere is directly wound around 
the helical nucleic acid examples of viruses showing helical symmetry are coronaviruses rhabdoviruses and paramyxoviruses in icosahedral symmetry the nucleic acid looks like a soccer ball with 12 vertices and 20 equilateral facets and 30 edges the examples of such symmetry is shown by viruses like papova virus herpes virus retrovirus and picorna virus some viruses do not conform to either icosahedral or helical symmetry due to the complexity of their structure the symmetry of the nucleocapsids of such viruses are called as complex nucleocapsid for example pox virus and some bacteriophages illustration of virus symmetry and construction an icosahedron of an adenovirus envelope is a lipid bilayer acquired from the host cell membrane during viral maturation by a budding process through a cellular membrane there are viral encoded glycoproteins protruding from the envelope and exposed on external surface of the virion these glycoprotein projections are called as peplomeres mind you these are the parts that induce host's immune response examples of virus morphology variety and size viral nucleic acids the nucleic acids that most commonly affect humans are single stranded rna and double stranded dna except single stranded rna viruses which are rio virus and double stranded dna virus which are parvo viruses the nucleic acid can exist as single segment or as several segments most viruses possess linear genomes except papova virus which contains a super coiled circular genome viral proteins viral proteins are of two types structural proteins and non structural proteins structural proteins as as you have guessed it right capsid and envelope and the non structural proteins are the enzymes that are present in a virion most viruses do not possess enzymes for the synthesis of viral components or for energy production but certain viruses carry essential enzymes in the virion like transcriptase reverse transcriptase neuraminidases we will learn about those enzymes as we proceed there are other virus like particles which are viroids defective viruses and prions viroids are essentially circular rna molecules without any protein or capsid okay the word was first coined by diner and was described in potato spindle tuber disease defective viruses are those viruses that are transmitted only with the help of other viruses for example the hepatitis delta agent that can be transmitted only parallel to hepatitis b without it it is not infective prions are none other than proteinaceous infective agents that lack nucleic acids and are responsible for many transmissible spongiform encephalopathies and slow degenerative diseases of brain in man for example kuru and creutzfeldt jakob disease